Hello everyone, this is Chocowit here, and today I am going to be presenting to you my top 15 Oblivion quests. Up at number 15, I have chosen the Forlorn Watchman. This quest is started by walking around Breville and hearing rumors of a ghostly watchman who wanders around the outskirts of town. Talking to a Gilgondrin will activate a quest marker to Braunwanch Camp, where the hero must wait until 8pm and follow the spectral sailor to a small outlook over the lake. From his body gestures and speaking, we learn that his ship, the MMA, was wrecked on Panther Tooth Rock, and he asks the hero to free his spirit. Inside the ship are frightening wraiths and treasure and many levels to fight through until finally finding the Watchman's remains. 14. Paranoia Glarthir is a sensitive Bosmer who wanders around Skingrad and will approach the hero the first time they enter the city. After meeting him behind the Great Chapel at midnight, he will ask them to investigate three targets, Bernadette Penelis, Tudius Sextius, I know, and David Cirilli. He believes that they are all spying on him for the Mythic Dawn, as he knows too much. There are many ways to go about this quest which will all spawn different rewards. I personally enjoy eliminating sweet Glarthia's targets. Mwahaha. 13. Corruption and Conscience Taking place in Chaden Hall, this quest can be activated by talking to Lavana Nadarin, who will reveal that the corruption in the city is running rampant. She tells them that Ulrich Leland is taxing the poor people to death, and that the Count doesn't even care or know about the troubles. She directs the hero to Garus Darelian, second in command, and who will do anything and everything in his power to help the people. Saying he needs a witness to testify against Ulrich, Garus tells the hero to go speak with Aldo's Othrin, a drunk homeless Dunmer whose wife was murdered by bandits. There are four endings to this quest. It is heartbreaking while leaving one satisfied by the end. 12. Caught in the Hunt This quest is activated by talking to Ursaine Losh in Breville, who will reveal that her husband, Alaron, has gone missing. She also reveals that Alaron had gotten into deep debt gambling, and now she believes that an orc named Curdan Godragal has abducted him. Talking to Curdon will activate the objective of finding the orc's family battle axe by taking a boat to Ford Grief. However, upon arriving on the Nimbin Bay Island, the hero discovers Alaron Losh making a crude camp outside the ruins of the fort. He explains that Curdon made up the whole story, and now you're both pawns in his cruel hunt. 11. Unfriendly Competition This quest takes place in the Imperial City Market District and revolves around a Bosmer named Thoranir, who has recently set up shop and is selling things at incredibly low prices. Talking to Jensen, a Nord merchant who owns Jensen's Good as New merchandise will activate the quest. She asks you to go talk to Thoranir and learn where he gets his inventory. Find the shop, the copious coin purse, and speak to Thoranir, which will prove futile. After following him, one overhears a secret meeting with a shady folk named Argamir. One must then follow Argamir and investigate his house to reveal what Thoranir's inventory is really made of. 10. Origin of the Grey Prince The Grey Prince is the half Orzimmer Grand Champion of the Imperial City Arena. He is always located in the Bloodworks, ferociously training for his next fight. If you speak to him and ask him about his name, he will tell you a little bit about his past and how his father was a great lord. He feels denied of his nobility and sends you to Castle Crowhaven to find proof of his noble blood. However, the key to his past unlocked a dangerous door. What's cool about this quest is during the arena questline when you challenge him and have already done the quest, he won't fight back and it makes the fight incredibly easy. 9. Ghosts of Vytharn Starting by hearing rumors, this quest takes place in the Shivering Isles and involves traveling to the destroyed town of Vytharn. Upon arrival, the hero finds ghosts of soldiers fighting each other, dying, then doing it all over again. Making your way into the keep, you will be approached by the spectral Count Sirion. Speaking to him will reveal that this place was cursed by Sheogorath to relive the same day because of the cowardice shown by the soldiers. He tasked the hero to talk to three of the spectral soldiers and convince them to stand their ground until finally joining the fight yourself. 8. A Brush With Death Wander around Shaden Hall and you'll begin to learn of a missing painter. Talk to his wife Tavella in their house and you will start the quest. She'll explain that her husband, Wrythe, often gets carried away in his work, but when she knocked on his study one night, she found it completely empty. Investigating the study will lead the hero to be sucked into a beautiful painting where Wrythe is standing in a field. 
you will learn that the painter's talent stems from a magical paintbrush given to his father by Debella, but it was stolen. He tasks the hero to retrieve the brush from a thieving Bosmer whilst fighting painted trolls. 7. A Kiss Before Dying This is the quest for the seventh dead drop when you become a silencer for the Black Hand, the sub-faction of the Dark Brotherhood. The drop can be found in the alien ruin of Nornal and will instruct the silencer to go to Breville and assassinate the Bosmer Ungolum. However, Ungolum knows that there is a price on his head and has paid off the guards not to interfere if things get rough. Stalk Ungolum until he stops to make a wish at the lucky old lady statue. After the deed is done, a familiar shadow will appear, enraged, betrayed, and bloodthirsty. 6. Canvas at the Castle in this quest, something is afoot in the castle of Coral. Countess Volga is obviously distraught about her husband's recent death, and to make matters worse, a portrait of him has gone missing. She tasks the hero to search the castle for clues and interview witnesses and suspects to find the culprit and the painting, and returning to her for a promised reward. 5. Baiting the Trap This quest is part of the main questline for the Shivering Isles and immediately follows a better mousetrap, which involved repairing Zedillion. You will be approached by the dungeon master, Kiliban Nirandril, who will be thrilled at the repair of the Resonator of Judgment. He will also inform you that adventurers have already been drawn to Zedillion, and allows you to deal with them by watching from above and controlling the enchanted chambers of Conversion, Everest, and Anathema, by deciding if the adventurers will receive a demented or manic fate. 4. Through a Nightmare Darkly In the Breville Mages Guild, an Argonian named Kodai is in distress. Her friend, Henantir, has gone missing, and because he's been playing with some dark magic, she doesn't want to ask the help of her guild members at fear that her friend, if ever found, will be expelled. While investigating Henantir's house, one finds that he's not missing at all, merely asleep and trapped in his dreams. Kodai then gives you an amulet that Henantir made that will allow you to consciously travel through your dreams. When entering Henantir's dream world, he approaches you and explains that you must complete four trials, the trials of perception, resolve, courage, and patience in order to free both of you. 3. An Unexpected Voyage This quest is activated by renting and sleeping in a bed at the Bloated Foot Inn on the Imperial City waterfront. The inn is run by an Altmer named Ormil, who was just a little too smart than was good for him. On your first day at the vessel turned in, when you wake up, the whole ship has been overrun by pirates and sit on a course to Breville. You must travel through the ship, speaking with and killing the members of the pirate gang, until finally taking back control and finding Ormil. 2. The Ultimate Heist Given by the Grey Fox himself to his most trusted ally thief, it is a quest to break into the Imperial City Library and steal an Elder Scroll. This quest requires both stealth beyond measure, as all of the previous Grey Fox missions have been building up to this one final grand theft. It is an incredibly intricate quest, starting by sneaking into the Imperial sewers, making it through the old way to the Lost Catacombs, and finally infiltrating the Imperial Library to steal an Elder Scroll from the Blind Moth Priests. And for number one, I have chosen Who Done It. This is a Dark Brotherhood assignment given to the hero by Ochiba in the Shaden Hall Sanctuary. It involves traveling to Summit Mist Manor in Skingrad disguised as a party guest to systematically take out the other guests who were all invited there in search of a treasure chest that doesn't actually exist. You are led into the manor by a Nord assassin named Fafnir, and then free to mingle with the other guests who include Avesi Dran, Neville, Matilda Petit, Primo Antonius, and Nels the Nordi. Oh. This quest is set up quite like the Agatha Christie novel and then there were none, and is probably one of the most intelligent, fun, and rewarding quests in any Elder Scrolls game. I hope you've enjoyed my list and found it helpful, and remember to like and subscribe. Bye!